Remember how we used to think Earth's journey around the sun was just a leisurely spin? Well, get ready for the exciting truth as scientists just discovered the real movement of Earth through the galaxy. Scientists now believe that as our planet cruises through the vast galaxy, we might come across some extraordinary phenomena like cosmic rays that can actually influence our genes and even lead to mass extinctions. But wait, it gets even more fascinating. Small adjustments in our planet's orbit could bring about dramatic climate changes like another ice age. Earth sure knows how to shake things up. While we usually think of the planets orbiting neatly around the sun, if we zoom out a bit, we'll discover an entire cosmic dance party. Our entire solar system is spiraling through the galaxy, giving us quite the wild ride. But wait, how does this recent discovery of Earth's movement through the galaxy challenge our previous beliefs? Well, Earth's orbit around the Sun isn't a perfect circle. It's more like a squashed circle called an ellipse. This means we experience varying distances from the Sun, which in turn bring us different seasons. At specific intervals throughout the year, Earth reaches perihelion around January 3rd and aphelion around July 4th. These events correspond to seasonal changes in the weather. While we frequently see the solar system shown with the Sun at the center and planets orbiting it, this is not totally correct. The Sun shifts due to the planet's gravitational pull, which also causes it to circle around it. Notably, the Sun and Earth are both significantly affected by gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn. All of the solar system's bodies are impacted when these planets align, even only slightly. The outer planet's disturbance is the term used to describe this phenomena. Milankovitch cycles, which are long-term changes in Earth's temperature and environment, are the result of accumulation of these minute orbital variations over time. The Earth's axis gradually tilts back and forth over ages, changing between 22 and 24.5 degrees. The Milankovitch cycles are a key factor in controlling how sunlight is distributed throughout the Earth, impacting the incidence and intensity of ice ages. Scientists believe that a new ice age lasting tens of thousands of years is on the horizon. However, the complexities caused by human-caused climate change make predicting the exact date and intensity of future ice ages difficult. As intricate as the Earth's motion within the solar system is, its trek through the Milky Way galaxy adds considerably more complication. The Milky Way is a magnificent cosmic system that spans billions of years. The rotation of our galaxy is nothing short of mesmerizing, resembling a colossal spinning windmill with its trailing spiral arms defining its graceful turn. This mesmerizing rotation causes stars and gas within the galaxy to gracefully orbit around its central core. Our planet, Earth, is located in one of these enthralling spiral arms, roughly 25,000 light years from the galactic center. We are simply passengers on this incredible cosmic voyage as we travel through the Milky Way marveling at the marvels of our galaxy and its mysteries still to be revealed. In contrast to the Sun, the Milky Way's gravitational field is undominated. Within the total gravitational fields of all parts, everything revolves. Finding out how these galaxy elements move is a difficult but rewarding undertaking that sheds light on the complex structure of our galaxy. The Sun orbits the Milky Way galaxy's core at a stunning pace of about 143 miles per second taking almost 230 million years to complete one orbit, much like Earth orbits the Sun. The Sun and Earth travel through various parts of the galaxy on this cosmic journey, exposing us to numerous cosmic conditions. It's worth noting that stars closer to the galactic center move faster than those further out. Because of their greater mass, the intersections have a greater gravitational force. This differential in speed is analogous to how planets closest to the Sun travel quicker along their orbits than those farthest away. Astronomers seek for brand new young stars in their birth orbits to measure the Sun's speed relative to the galaxy's core. Based on their relative movements to us, they calculate that the Sun travels at around 3.1 miles per second toward the galactic center, nearly 5 miles per second up and out of the galactic disk and about 4.4 miles per second in that direction. The Sun and the course of our solar system across the galaxy are significantly impacted by this motion, despite it appearing to be minor. A little elliptical in shape, 
The Sun's orbit around the galactic center oscillates above and below the galactic plane around once every 60 million years. The gravitational attraction of the galaxy's dark matter, gas clouds, and other stars affects its movement. Currently, we are located several dozen light years above the middle plane of the galactic disk, although precisely pinpointing the center is challenging due to the distribution of matter. The gravity of the galactic disk slows our upward movement, and in a few million years we will be approximately 300 light years above the center of the disk before our upward motion halts and we start descending. The vertical oscillation of the solar system is more than just an interesting phenomenon. Some astronomers support the Shiba hypothesis, suggesting it may be linked to mass extinctions on Earth. In the vast expanse of our galaxy, the motion of its spiral arms is a fascinating phenomenon influenced by various factors, although the precise causes remain shrouded in mystery. One significant factor contributing to this cosmic dance is the gravitational pull from neighboring galaxies in our local group, including the majestic Milky Way itself. It's as if unseen hands are gently guiding the flow of stars and cosmic matter. Together, as passengers on this grand celestial road trip, we are part of a captivating and interconnected universe where the mysteries of the galaxy unfold before our eyes. The sun isn't the only thing moving, though. The galaxy's other stars are all likewise in motion. Proper motion, which refers to a star's perceptible progression across the sky over time, is how astronomers characterize the motion of stars. This motion is caused by stars moving in space relative to the sun. Proper motion is typically measured in arc seconds per year, representing the angular displacement of a star in the sky during one year. How the Earth moves in relation to the nearby stars. The apparent positions of nearby stars in the night sky vary gradually over time as a result of Earth's orbit around the Sun. This phenomenon is known as parallax. It happens because Earth is in different positions in its orbit throughout the year, resulting in slightly different viewpoints for nearby stars. The amount of parallax observed for a star depends on its distance from Earth. Closer stars display more parallax than those farther away. The position of nearby stars can change significantly due to their own movement in space. Consequently, the constellation patterns we see today will look somewhat different in the future and would have appeared different in the past. The effect of proper motion is particularly noticeable for nearby stars with large proper motion, or in other words, the fast-moving stars. We now have a fascinating picture of how our solar system moves around the galaxy, but it is still unclear how we move throughout the entire universe. The Milky Way is not the only object in space, which is interesting to observe. Our galaxy is constantly pulled by gravitational fields from various masses surrounding it. We are moving toward the Andromeda Galaxy at a speed of a few hundred miles per second. The Milky Way is a member of the Local Group, a group of over 54 galaxies that also includes our nearest neighbor, the Andromeda Galaxy. Along with many other groups and clusters of galaxies, this local group is moving towards the mysterious super-dense region known as the Great Attractor, a supercluster of galaxies. The Great Attractor lies about 150 million light-years away in space. Its immense gravitational force significantly affects the motion of galaxies within hundreds of millions of light-years. As a result, the local group, including our planet Earth, is being drawn towards the Great Attractor at a staggering speed of approximately 373 miles per second. Our planet is a small but significant part of a complex system of celestial motions. Earth orbits the Sun gracefully, while the entire solar system moves through the vast expanse of the Milky Way galaxy at impressive speeds, leaving a corkscrew pattern behind. Milky Way is a member of the Local Group, a larger group of galaxies that comprises a number of nearby galaxies. Together, they engage in a cosmic dance as they advance towards the Great Attractor's enigmatic gravitational field. This tug-of-war causes the local group to traverse space at several hundred miles per second. We recommend subscribing to our channel to keep yourself up to date with the latest discoveries. Even so, this is not the end of the story, since, as Edwin Hubble found in the 1920s, the cosmos is actually expanding at a tremendous rate. Because of this expansion, galaxies are accelerating their outward motion. Earth is not just a mere rock floating through space, it plays a role in a grand cosmic scheme. Our planet's movement is a crucial piece of the puzzle that is space, 
despite the fact that we may be little in the immensity of the cosmos. Furthermore, you can expand your knowledge about the latest cosmic discoveries by clicking on the video thumbnails popping up. Until next time, goodbye.